good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Kiflis uh, Kizima. I'm from Eritrea. I'm living here as a refugee. And here I'm going to talk about, on behalf of our uh, brothers and sisters who invested in this uh, uh, digital, uh, PO Digital Academy, and, and also Crypto KDFC, also Crypto Digital uh, uh, crypto center. Yeah. Anyway, because as the name indicates, it's very fake. I couldn't even swallow the names because we were somehow tricked and and we brought, brought, brought many people together here. And my friend and my myself and we have also other guys who were just recruiting people, Eritrean people, in the hope that this uh, uh, corn business has a future. And then we we put so much money and like uh, as you can imagine, like it was all in all like uh, 4.9 billion uh, Ugandan shillings. Not because we were rich, but because we, we we believe it as much as we love it, Uganda. And we also trusted maybe we were so naive that to put so much money. And but in the end, we we as my colleague Ugandans were saying. And we found out the, the business was really uh, bad for us. We, uh, we were just indebted with so many uh, millions because we, many of us, we were very surprised because he changed his tone. Like he, in the beginning, he was telling us the coronavirus is not going to change all our business, that there is a future in it. So we were somehow, we were not so happy because we were really disappointed. Uh, by his uh, treatment because he was so uh, uh, being telling us like he was a bishop and we somehow like you know uh, really believed him and uh, with a, he has a cool personality and we were somehow we were not just very happy uh, about the way he treated us in the beginning uh, we most of uh, the business started in December 2019 for most of us uh, and what happened was he was just giving us like uh, by the time you get registered you have this two weeks grace period and then after two weeks and then you start every Saturday you get 10 percent uh, of what you invested if imagine like you invested 10 million and that that means like you get million after two min uh, after two weeks of grace period and then the business continued and sometimes he also flex uh, where he he wasn't keep, keeping his promise, so he brings so many excuses, and then um, from December, from December all the way to uh, March, it it went well, but because of this unfortunate uh, coronavirus stuff, and came ar around, and like many countries, Uganda also uh, just became the victim, but then he excuse, he used it as excuse for this, so he he get away with the money. Have and you ever received any single payment? No, we, 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 since then we didn't. Since then we didn't. How many members are you from the Indonesian community? Well, actually we have so many members, but uh, roughly in this paper we have only 171 people. 171 people in two categories. But in terms of filing, in terms of the cases, you can see the stack of the cases here down in the tray. So we, we have a lot of people, but also someone, just in terms of numbers, we have, there are so many cases, but all in all, probably 180, uh, more than 180 people were uh, investing in, uh, invested in this uh, corn business. So really, we yeah. are. Uh, let me show you some case where you will be surprised that like uh, some guys, some guys were not just given uh, Really, very shocking story. The coronavirus, as you remember, as Ugandans, you remember the corona case was uh, uh, declared uh, that every business was just just closed down, and that the business was not going on. So what happened was there are so many guys who invested 10 million, 10 million people, uh, Ugandan actually, at the very last, year, and then he promised them that. This is not a factory or a business factory where we cannot be affected because this is actually this kind of business is actually works in this very uh, uh, very unfortunate situations in places like where there is a war 
and our business never stopped. So he was telling us, you know, he was somehow encouraging and people, you know, with so many uh, unfortunate, uh, you know, realities that he was telling us our, his business is not going to be affected by all means. So he just told us, so we, as recruiters, we brought, brought all the people, we promised them that to, they will get the money back. They so, will get the investment return back. So as you clients, what is your complaint exactly? You want your money? Of course. Our complaint is two things. First of all, we, we really condemn this kind of stuff in, in our Brazilian country because as Africans, we are also not happy. Because this kind of, uh, as we know, the corruption is uh, the cancer in most African countries like ours and even in Uganda, okay? So we are very, uh, we are very uh, uh, disappointed about this kind of business going on in Uganda. This is the first one. Have you ever approached your embassy? Let, 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 me, let, me, talk, let me remind respond to his question. And uh, the second reason we are applying for this one, we, we ask him, his, excellent, his Excellency Yawari uh, Kabuta Masaboni and his family, that we have been really uh, hurt by this kind of business. So we ask him to, to, to take our cases seriously and to bring our money back because to put these guys into law, and because this is not even good for Ugandan, uh, Ugandans and even the image of Uganda. Because we have, imagine like, 4.9 uh, billion uh, Ugandan shilling in terms of dollars, it's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So we, are, we were refugees here, but we, we, we were somehow like the country and because we felt like at home, so we, we, we were expected.